I'm presenting to you. I'm a psychologist, so I'm presenting to you some fun psychology facts. Uh, some you may already know of. Some are new, even to me, while I was doing my research. We believe that every person's we blame a, a person's behavior on their personality, unless it's us. As individuals, we all like to be naive psychologists, trying to make sense of the world around us, trying to make sense of the behaviors of people around us. Uh, it is essentially called as a fundamental attribution error, where we attribute others' inappropriate behaviors to their internal factors. However, we explain our own uh, inappropriate, unhealthy behaviors to external factors. Our strongest memories are usually inaccurate. I know that a lot of us believe that things that have left an emotional impact on us are uh, things that we remember very accurately. However, they are uh, embedded in our mind as flash bulb memories and studies show that the stronger the emotional uh, component or the emotional state that we are in during an event, the more the memory is inaccurate. Our brains wander off for 30% of the day. Uh, for 30% or more of our time during the day is spent on daydreaming. However, there is an upside to it because exactly this uh, aspect of daydreaming makes us more creative and better problem solvers. It gives us a lot of food for thought. Now, this is a very, very interesting one. Approximately 80% of all human conversations are gossip. However, this is not a bad thing because uh, according to research by a professor, uh, Emler at uh, the University of Surrey in England. Gossip is a fundamental is fundamental to human beings, and it allows us to know about people we haven't met, and is fundamental to our human society. It helps us understand human behavior, and also helps us understand people better. It it is a, in fact a part. It plays an important part in our cognitive and psychosocial development. Most of our decisions, I think, a lot of us would know this and agree with me. Most of our decisions that we make during a day are subconscious in nature. This is because our conscious mind is very limited or, or has a very limited processing power and it gets overwhelmed very, very quickly with the kind of information. In a moment, our brain receives over 11 million bits of information to, uh, that we need to process. And this, um, we don't have, we don't possess, uh, possess uh, enough brain power to go through it all. So a lot of our decisions are made on subconscious, uh, you know, um, on our subconscious mind. And our subconscious mind is strongly influenced by our belief systems, our emotions, etc. Which is why if we are not in a good mood, or if we are, uh, you know, if our belief systems are, uh, you know, our belief systems can cause biases in our decision making processes. Wisdom of the crowd is actually not very wise. Uh, we psychologists call it groupthink, and research has led to believe that the larger the group of individuals, the more likely it is for the choices to be based on emotions rather than logic and common sense. And that makes a lot of sense when it comes to understanding the democratic uh, extension of any political uh, nation. Uh, a leader with a dominant charismatic personality can appeal to the emotions of a crowd and impact the decisions of the group. We think with emotions rather than logic when it comes to making decisions and choices. Relationships are as important as our, uh, to our health as diet and exercise. In fact, uh, any discrepancy in our relationship can cause uh, physiological concerns <clears throat> that, uh, such as hypertension or obesity and can affect, directly affect uh, the way a, a person lives. Being or feeling lonely also decreases uh, life expectancy. It is believed that smart people are more likely to experience imposter syndrome. I hope you all know what the imposter syndrome is. Imposter syndrome basically means that uh, individuals begins to doubt themselves for who they are. And it is also known as the Dunning-Kruger effect, which shows that intelligent people tend to underestimate themselves more than an average person. Uh, the ignorant person's ignorance actually helps them to overestimate their own selves instead. Thinking, uh, and this is one of the most interesting facts that I found, that thinking in a foreign language makes our decisions more rational. There were recently a series of experiments which were done, which found out that thinking in a foreign language actually reduced the interference of 
deep seated biases that may that we may otherwise have and that may otherwise influence our perception so if we know a foreign language it will always be helpful there is something known as placebo sleep which basically means that we have the capacity to trick our brains into believing that we have uh, we've slept well if we tell ourselves that we've slept well it will actually impact our performance talking positively about uh, one's peaceful sleep tricks the mind into feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day's challenges whereas if we crib and cry about not feeling rested enough it can impact how we perform during the day it will keep interfering with our cognitive abilities biochemically speaking being in the, being in a love affair cannot be distinguished from ocd so the obsessive thoughts the constant need the constant desires to be with someone is actually a biochemical reaction not just romance also biochemically speaking the brain feels rejection as physical pain so these were the many uh, some of the few uh, you know facts uh, psychology facts that i wanted to share with you however it's important to note that our brain is a very very interesting and powerful organ and we are still studying its complexities we're not aware fully aware of how it functions and what it how it manifests itself uh however the conscious and the subconscious mind has a significant influence on our behavior and uh, the reason why i share these facts with you is the aware that awareness is just the way forward if we are aware of things and if we hold on to any one of the facts that i've shared today it will significantly impact our behavior and our decisions going forward at least for today and uh, you know coming uh, days i'd like to end by saying that the mind is just like a muscle the more we exercise it the stronger it gets and the more we expand so thank you all very much thank you for uh, listening to me and i hope you take away something interesting from